My name is Cindy, and there was a time when Christmas was my favorite holiday. That was until my seventh Christmas. I still believed in Santa at the time. Well, not just believed in him, I was obsessed with the idea of Santa. Most kids have that idea at least once where they should stay up all night and wait for Santa. But I doubt most kids have ever actually done it. But this was the year. This was the year I decided I would wait up for Santa for real. Mom, can I stay up a little bit longer? No, you have to go to sleep. Santa's coming. Don't forget. Okay. Mom? Is Santa really coming? Of course he is. Okay. Good night. I only planned on secretly observing Santa. I certainly didn't plan on speaking with him. I thought that if he caught me, he wouldn't give me any presents. On the note, I told him my love and appreciation for him and what I wanted for Christmas. I planned on placing this on the tree just as soon as my mom went to sleep. I waited and waited, but nothing happened. I must have sat there for hours until finally I felt myself starting to drift off. I thought that maybe if I grabbed something to eat that I would be able to stay up a little while longer.
I fell asleep seconds after climbing into bed, and morning came fast. The next morning I woke up, ran downstairs. Normally, my parents were there to greet me, and I thought it was strange that no one was there, but I didn't care. All I could think about was the gift that Santa had just left for me. I'm flattered by your admiration, Cindy. I hope you like the gift I left you. Go ahead and open it now. Broke into several homes late last night. The Santa figure brutally stabbed and murdered the parents of six young families. Reports are flying in from all over the city stating that this suspect is at least 6'4 and approximately 245 pounds. So far, a total of five homes in this neighborhood have been reported as broken into. Three people are reported dead and currently... Ah! your presence, Cindy. Oh, and by the way, I know you were hiding under the table. See you soon, and remember, I know when you're sleeping. Regardless of whether or not you celebrate Christmas, be sure to hold your loved ones a little closer and pray for the families of this devastating tragedy. 